Hey guys, Tempicrow here. We are about to enter a game of League of Legends. On the blue team we have Singed, Graves, Emerald, Tarik, Malphite and Karate Cannon. On the red team we have Kogma, Cassiopeia, Viscero, Viscero, Zinzao, I think it's spelled, Morgana and Sejuani. Uh, Skin Wars is a tie because I'm really not a fan neither of I'm really not a fan of Karate Cannon or Viscero Zin Zhao, so can't say much. In the jungles we'll have Zin Zhao versus Malphite, bottom will be Graves, Tarik from the blue team versus I think Morgana, Kogma, uh, top will be Sejuani versus Singed, and middle will be Cannon versus Cassiopeia. She, in the middle Cassiopeia has I think a better poke or actually more damage than Cannon, but then again Cannon has his stun and I think a sl it should be interesting. Middle should be interesting as I'm not sure which one of these two champions will win the lane. Bottom Tarik Graves and versus Morgana Kogmo. Now Co Morgana has her shield. Kogma is the type of hyper carry champion that I mentioned that is known to well uh, to need a lot of farm so we will definitely see how that goes just a second I am sorting everything out fixing stuff switching them about there we go. Everything is sorted. We have entered the game. Minute and 20 seconds in. Everyone is prepared for that counter ganking. Getting ready to help their junglers on the blue buffs. Nothing much happening. Actually, the only one that is out of position Maybe is Sejuani. If she is not protecting the red buff, Cassiopeia moved to Zin to help him with wolves. Good little snake. And Morgana Kogmo are near for preparation for the blue buff. Again, I will see that the wolves really don't need a poke. I think Cassiopeia didn't take anything, which is nice. And Zin cleared it. He started with Q. Next ability will be his W, his healing. Koma helped a bit and decided to go away. Morgana typically started with her Dark Bind Q ability, so that is good. Graves taking his first minion. We'll go for the next. On top, Singe did help Malphite, so he was slightly late, not sure by ha. Not by much! Not by much. He is definitely getting closer to that level than Sejuani is. He did take a bit of a beating there. And Cannon is trying to keep that middle lane even, but failing as he is pushing and she's with her back near her turret. Yep, back pressed against the turret. Which is strange for one Cassiopeia. Um, damn, she's taking quite a lot of damage. 62 ability power coming off of cannon as he started with amplifying tome and some healing potions Sidrani being flipped and Che and singed running he did ignite her, she ignited him and will it be a first blood? first blood for singed doing it like a sir Graves missing that bind from Morgana did take a bit of a damage from Kogma, Zinzao came top to gank, but thankfully he singed will execute to try to save that 400, 300 gold that he earns. He's still in advantage. Nobody got the kill. Perfect choice for him. He already picked up his ruby crystal for that catalyst and some extra potions. He is also 5 CS above Sejuani. Minions are there, he will auto attack her, fling her into her poison field. He will get, use her ultimate to stun him, but he will use Ghost. 
So he'll just use his ultimate to run away. Cassiopeia is there, she does see him. Hoping that they will not fight. That turret is almost down. He's still using his poison trail. He gets poison himself. Uses, ult uses ghost to run away and will leave. He's sitting on 1000 gold at the moment. So he will go, ba go back and buy a lot of ages. Uh, Cannon trying to counter jungle or at least trying to steal raids from Zin but doesn't work as he plans. Bottom Grave Stark are definitely more superior to Morgana Kogmo. Malphite walking over that ward in the bush. Ward placements. Um, Red team has it here and here. That's about that. Blue team, just the enemy laning brush. I think Tarek is going to ward now near that barn, near that dragon pit. No dragons yet, no vision wards, no oracles. Uh, cannon getting caught and almost dying. 14 minutes in 9 4 for the in kills for the blue team. 3000 gold difference in their favor. Um, slowly but surely, the top turret will go down now as Singed is pushing it. Sejuani coming around that enemy jungle, followed by Cassiopeia as they try to gank bottom. They're three on bottom, they're still walking over that turret. Malphite will get caught by both Sejuani and Cassiopeia. He flashes away, trying to get to safety, uses his ultimate to get away. Graves getting caught but kills, picks up a kill on Morgana as Cassiopeia uses her ultimate to take him out. And Sejuani taking out Graves. One, two for one in this exchange and not good. Cannon jumping in, taking a chunk, taking a bite out of Kogma killing him. Kogma will explode all over him. Malphite chasing after Sejuani while Singed is on top pushing that second laning turret. Zin is going towards him but I don't think it will be enough. He's on 50% health and Singed can take him out easily. Kill him easily if there comes a fight. Baron Nasher just spawned. Second turret goes down for the blue team. Just increasing that goal difference. Sejuani did got got there on top a bit late. But Singed is definitely working his charm. His ultimate is up. His ghost is about to be up. He gets slowed slightly by Kogmo, who chases him. But he just runs around in a circle, uses his ultimate, he'll chase, slow Kogmo down, flip him, take 50% of his health down, run back there, just running around with his poisons, Kogmo goes down, Zin joins, it's again, it was 3 on 1, it will be 1 for 1 in that exchange with almost Singe taking out Sejuani. Meanwhile, because of three of them being on top, the blue team will easily take dragon uncontested. Cassiopeia is in the in her base buying amplifying tome while Singed picked up ninja tabby and another blasting one going for the Rhylite crystal scepter while Sejuani picked up giant's belt and chain vest going for the sunfire cape. Malphite has Sun, uh, has Giant's Belt and Ruby Crystal and Rejuvenation Bead, so we will be seeing Warmogs from that. Cannon getting preparing for Leandris, I think he's very close to it. He can actually buy it if he decides to recall. Grey's 32092CS just picked up Bloodthirster and it's going him up and Preserver Greaves. Tarik with his Philosopher's Stone and Ruby Side Stone is not sure what he's preparing. He's sitting on 980, 990 gold, so really can't be sure what he's doing. They, the red team is chasing after him. That turret is just getting scratched now. Middle turret almost going down. It's changed, returning on top to catch Piglet again. Come on, Bacon! Run away from him! 
You can do it! She slows him but walks past that poison trail. Zin is probably on his way to get there. Singed is chasing. He used his ultimate just now. Slow Sejuani down. He will encounter Zin as well. Flip Zin around. Start ch running. Fling Zin again. Or actually not, just walk past him. Chase after him. He did ignite him. Fling and death. Ah, almost that jump, Zin jump did save him. Cassiopeia meanwhile taking raids from her side. Singed not even losing that much health. Decides, yeah, better let them run away because I don't have my ghost nor my ultimate. Bottom, red team is pushing. Malphite will walk past that ward yet again. Gray is getting caught by Morgana's Q, spell shielding that stun. Gets exhausted and Cannon picks up the kill. They will turret dive. Cannon doing quite a lot of damage. They will take Kogma. Actually, that kill was taken by Malphite. Cannon didn't pick up his Leanders, he picked up Longsword, uh, needlessly large rod. Which means Rabadon time, or close to it. Malfoy did use his ultimate, he's on 50% health, while Cannon and Graves come away slightly at that bottom turret. It's on 50% health. Singe, meanwhile, moved from top to middle, will take care of that turret. 7 kill difference in favor of the blue team, 19 minutes in. 6000 gold difference in their favor as well. And they took out two turrets to the enemy's zero. They seen Malphite and Tarik getting caught organizing her ultimate, allowing Singed to pick up allowing Zinzel to pick up the kill. Also, her ultimate did stun Gray um, Tarik. Tarik will go down as Morgana's W clears him out on bottom. Gray's in trouble as Kogma is just dealing tons of damage, almost killing Graves, but not enough. Let's see, 76 CS on Kogma, 153 score, he's sitting on 4300 gold, versus 107 CS Graves, 3 to 1, and he's sitting on 5600 gold. Quite a significant amount. Um, well over a thousand gold difference. Cannon getting caught by Bind and Tormented Soils. Cassiopeia taking out the middle turret, their first turret of the game. Kogma will take out the second on bottom. Singed is being chased. He didn't use his ghost. Actually, ghost is still on full down, but he just used his ultimate and he would get caught in a dangerous situation and get killed if Morgana uses her Q wisely and catch him. He manages to dodge it and is continuing to run while Cassiopeia was left on no health whatsoever. Graves and Tarik farming on the bottom. Graves has a full bloodthirster. He picked up another vampiric scepter and dagger. We could be seeing him going for the with that second uh, vampiric scepter for the Blade of the Ruined King, which deals percentage health damage. Actually, it eats. the more health you have in the enemy team, the more I hurt you. Quick draw into Graves, he picks, uh, into Kogma, he picks up the kill and takes out the turret. 4000 gold difference in favor of the blue team. They are definitely no, they definitely are using that fed or somewhat fed. Singed on top and definitely are working on feeding, getting that graves fed more. Sejuani dodging or moving out from the Singed's poison trail. Did use Ghost, he chased after her, she hit him very nicely. He slows her, Morgana using her ultimate and spell shield to stun Graves and Tarik. Graves also got caught by her Q, but he will take the kill, very good kill. Singed is being chased by three of them and Cassiopeia will take the second kill of the game. She's on 155 CS, 211. She has Leandris, 
And by the looks of it, I think she is working to get the uh, Zonia's Hourglass. Haven't seen. I did see from what is being built now, but haven't seen it in the game that often, or just wasn't paying attention to it. Uh, I myself didn't buy it yet. Building Day picks up their second dragon of the game. This one, two, three turrets for the red team and four turrets for the blue team. I do apologize for the lack of turret counting. It would seem that spectator mode is slightly bugged. Um, I do believe that they have the reason why it's currently at the moment offline from the game's lobby. Is they I'm I am hoping that they are working on resolving those issues and just fixing everything up before they start it up. Um, I can actually understand that uh, why they disabled it uh, as there's uh, there's a new rating si ranked system. Uh, probably something that wasn't compatible with the spectator mode that they just need to cross the t's, dot the i's and put that little pesky decimal dots in right positions. Singed is Drani round, I believe, seven by this time. He's out creeping her, out killing her. Um, she has a little less death than he does, but for every extra death that he got, Cannon picking up a nice kill on Morgana on bottom, who probably take, won't take the double kill as Malphite picks up Kogma um, while Cannon picks up Morgana. Lin Zhao jumping in using his ultimate to turn everyone around, Sejuan using her stun. They chase Cannon low on health, trying to get in, do some damage, maybe get an assist. Malphite and Xin chasing after Xin Zhao, taking him out. Xin Xin slowing Sejuani and Cassiopeia down to chase after her. Cassiopeia takes out Cannon, making it a 2 for 2 exchange, I believe. Graves, meanwhile, on bottom is farming. Will take out Sejuani as she really can't stand up in the middle, even though she was one level above him. She gets squished by her boar. But with that, Graves will have to be forced to pull back. Let's have Kelt and Mana taking their toll. Morgana on top free farming. She is going a very interesting build that I've seen late uh, recently is that some supports like Morgana and Luke's they start supporting but near mid game well into the late game they are anything but support they are more of a ability uh, an extra ability power AP uh, user damager not as good as an actual mid laner, but close enough. Oh, 26 minutes in, 9 kills difference, 6000 gold difference, or actually, yeah, 7000 gold difference, do apologize for that. 7000 gold difference, uh, Tariq is warding the bottom bush, oh, actually he's not, he has three more wards but he is definitely did ward that jungle from the enemy so it's Morgana using those river nice positions for river to place wards Sejuani on top pushing actually she's recalling she is sitting on 200 gold, but sh I think she knows that she overextended, so she's trying to get away, and she will. While Grace will pick up the minions left by her. Uh, yep, uh, Cassiopeia is going for the Sonia Hourglass, and that is now built from Seeker's Arm Guard. A uh, new item released with the. Uh, 
uh, season 3 patch. You can see uh, it gives 30 armor, 25 ability power, and a unique passive. Killing a unit grants 0.5 bonus armor and ability. This stacks up to 30 times, which is very interesting. So Johnny getting caught by four members of the blue team. She will go down as seems to be using this poison, not that she's to 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 put everyone up in the air, Graves taking the kill, now by going down, Sejuani taking, being taken down how they can, making the double kill as Organa goes as well. Flink goes Cassiopeia, she is chasing after Tariq but he'll get away as Sinj is dancing all over her cannon, managing to barely escape from the clutches of Xin Zhao, also known as Chupabane as my friend Rainbow Dash Ru, when he started playing this game uh, he despised Xin Zhao that was the only champion or one of the rare champions that could take him out he he knew what the fit was he understood if he was outplayed but if it was Xin Zhao it, no matter what he does how hard he plays how well he plays how good he think he is, Xin Zhao always beat him and since then he became his Rainbow Dash Bane. Xin noticing, sensing or seeing or being warned about the troubles that are coming is running away. He has no health and he knows that if he gets caught he will die. Kogmo is chasing after him which is pointless and stupid. Don't chase after Singe chill people please don't he wants that it I know it's hard not to chase he has no help but he will survive you and this will not happen he ran singed ran while Kogmo followed in his trail allowing singed's teammates Malphite and Cannon to come around and pick a very nice well served served kill try to avoid that when you're playing singed in the future people um, I know it's hard, I know we all have that greed streak and moment where we want <gasps> must have that kill and run after like Warwick through all 11 turrets to just kill the enemy on, the, on their fountain, but don't do it. 9 out of 10 times you're gonna die, that one time is not worth it. Graves farming, he has Trinity Force, interesting build. He still has that Vampiric Scepter up, Kogma has Infinity Edge, Berserker Greaves, another, still has his uh, Vampiric Scepter, and not sure what he's going for with that Cloak of Agility and Doran's Blade. Morgana has that double Amplifying Tome, we could be seeing um, Hextech Revolver. Cannon going for Zonia's Hourglass as well with that Sweeper or Seeker, Seeker's Arm Guard. Still no Leandris Torment from him, but he has Rylai's. Singed, hammering away at the top lanes in Nexus uh, inhibitor turrets. He's sitting on 223 CS, 565 score. Rylai's Word of Ages, Ninja Tabby, and also torn mail he will run across the enemy base will slow he will dodge morgana dragon takes out again for singed which is not a very bad trade i must say singed is sitting on 11390 gold overall gold he's on 1030 at the moment versus a 8600 gold on Sejuani. He is doubling her in CS. In jungle, 99 CS in Malphite, 528 is sitting on 8690 gold versus 116 CS Xin Zhao, 434, who is sitting on 8060 gold. As you can see the numbers, uh, Cannon is sitting on 10300 gold. Grace. T uh, 10,700 gold, Tariq 7,500 gold, they're all out farming by a huge, huge margin uh, the, their counter 
arcs the, on the enemy team. Sejuani, 8,800 8, gold. Uh, Zin, 8,100 gold. Cassiopeia, 9,400. Kogma, 7,300. And Morgana, 6,300. So it's huge. The old they are the blue team are definitely better farmers. They take, they did take out more objectives. They took out all three dragons that are spawned. They are one, two, three, f still four to three. Um, so they're one turret above. I think that bottom turret will go down soon. Actually, that top inhibitor turret will go down soon. More Cassiopeia getting caught. Grez will pick up a very easy kill. He also has Hex Drinker. So he's going for that slightly tanky, uh, let's get my passive more into it mode. So Twani jumping in, seems to going around, getting tossed back, and not back by him. Can pick up a kill on Kogma. Cannon take. Uh, Cannon taking out Kogna, Ray is taking out Morgana, they continue to chase. Singed picks up a kill on Zin, will go down to Bacon. Ray is taking out that turret and Sejuani will die to... Truly she will live, or try to live, as she managed to survive Ignite, but that auto attack from Cannon did her in. And they will take take that their first inhibitor turret, not top but middle, and the inhibitor as well. 34 minutes in, uh, wow, 40, 54,000 gold versus 41,000 gold, so almost 10,000 gold difference. 30 to 14 in kills, and since the turrets are bugged, I do apologize for counting. I think that would be five, six turrets in favor of the blue team. Six stories in favor of the blue team and an inhibitor. So their middle is open. Their top will be open very soon. Uh, the blue team only lost their first line of turrets. Their second uh, laning turrets are still up. And their inhibitor turrets and... Pardon. And inhibitors themselves are also quite well protected. Um, still no oracles as I can see. On neither team, which is a shame as they could benefit from it. Singed picked up his Benji's Veil as there are quite a lot of stuff that he can use to protect himself uh, with it. Cassiopeia's ultimate, uh, Zin Zhao's knockback, uh, Morgana's stun, uh, Bacon's, oh sorry, Sejuani's stun. I do apologize if I started to call Sejuani Bacon, it's just something that she is known for in my group of friends and it's always fun to call her that. Pikachu is clearing those wards in front of Baron with that pink ward but he will... Actually it doesn't really matter at this point if there's w that <coughs> one ward in that uh, let's lay in wait uh, death bush as it expired and they will go for baron while singed will keep them busy uh, Tarik is in the base he's on 0 to 15 as a good support with 47 cs his Turelia is working on getting uh, Aegis of Legion and ult ultimately Bulwark. I think he was waiting for that. Not sure. 1375 gold. He has more than enough for Aegis. Morgana warding that Baron Pit, seeing that it's too late. Zin, I don't think they see that. No, they actually do. Sophia taking her blue. Piglet in trouble as Singed and Cannon are chasing after her. There goes a slow quick drop from Graves, slow from Malphite. And Singed picks up that kill. Morgana is being very cautious while Kogma is in front of his inhibitor turret protecting it. Tarik, it would seem he deceived as he's not moving whatsoever. That's 
shame, Ken getting caught by Morgana with her Q, Finch getting caught and knocked back a bit. Kogma taking out Malphite, but Graves took out Kogma thanks to that and uh, the inhibitor and they go for their second um, inhibitor too, they go for their second inhibitor, taking that one out. They will press their advantage as middle is pushing with those super creeps. Organa skill misses. SUPS poison did clean that, so it was 1 for 2 in the end, which is not bad. Singe doesn't have his ultimate, doesn't have ghost, so they will really have to fight cautiously while they either A, wait for that bottom turret to push to the... bottom minions to push to that turret, or they'll just go for it now. See that Singed missed that the turret's still there. They will open them like... I'm not sure what, a bacon, like a suckling pig on a feast, but they will open them from all sides or are working towards it. They could even do some sieging, siege them on that last inhibitor turret and wait for middle and top to push. They will go for their fourth dragon, I believe. We are nearly 30 minutes in. 20,000 gold difference, more 15, 17 kills difference and the enemy base cracked open like a like, like a melon, yeah. And this is actually the best thing, best way to explain the enemy situation. They are, they are 5 on 4, actually, the blue team is 4 on 5 as red team as they lost Tariq for some strange reasons his gold is just accumulating with that with those objectives nice Q dodge and thankfully I believe my friends almost called me on Skype but I think they heard me speak and decided not to go, go there um, at the present they are still fighting 40 minutes in and this game is still going good. Um, Tar Singed is going there, Tark still gone. Not sure what happened. Um, and yeah, sorry about this slight pause, just looking at my second monitor trying to see what is happening there. Malphite stealing the enemy red. I think Graves will pick it up as his is uh, halfway through, so he'll give it to Malphite. Cassiopeia free farming on top. She has Rhylize, Zonia Hourglass, Leandre Storment, and Sorcerer Shoes. So, not sure why she hasn't picked up Rabadon. There goes the announcement for Tarek that he left the game. Could be technical difficulties, I'm not sure who could be that he had to leave. I am not um, trying to speak in his defense. Not sure what happened as I'm not talking with my friends on Skype. 15,000 gold difference in favor of the blue team. Wow, they, they play this well and they will. Cannon picking up his first kill of the team fight, using Zonia to shield himself. Zonia, Cassiopeia using Zonia, Singe will take the kill on Zin, double kill for Kogma and double kill for Graves as he took out Sanjuani and Morgana. They will go for those Nexus turrets and they will win the game. So even though they were uh, 4 on 5 because they were left late game, in that situation, they still won the game.